Okay, now we gotta do a water pump on this. 3400 uh, Grand Am <clears throat> GT. And I just redid this, rebuilt this entire car, body and everything. Paint job and did uh, put new heads on it. As you can see how they're nice and shiny down there. And you can see a little corner of the head gasket down there, so I put uh, uh, copper coated gaskets on. And, uh, the heads are decked for uh, compression, three way cut valves, ported and polished intakes. And now the water pump is leaking. So, replacement time. I've already got the belt and the pulley off. And I'm not going to really bother draining too much cooling out of it. I'm just going to take it off and whatever comes out, comes out. So, let's get at it. See it already. Ready to come out. Oops. And then two more. Two more bolts there. Two more nuts. Yeah, nuts. There. The ratchet won't really fit, so we're going to use this with our hand. And, yep, we're pissing now. <laughs> Try to pick up the charger here since electronics don't mix. Going in. Good. Sorry about that, guys. And that's hot. And those five, five eight millimeter. Fuck me, that is hot. I mean, pardon me, that is hot. Oh, well, that's what happens because I was just driving the car for two hours. But there we go. Now let's get the replacement. We just we're just putting a used one in. Because uh, I have a hundred of them here. Alrighty, I've got my used water pump here, and it's still nice and tight in the bearing. <clears throat> Feels nice and new. So I've cleaned off the old gasket with uh, a wire wheel, which is just fine. I've cleaned the old gasket off the surface over here. Now, on a lot of water pumps, the gasket goes on one way only, and you got to find out which way. That is. So you spin it like this until all the holes line up. Sometimes you may have to flip the gasket around to the other side in order to figure it out. And there we go, now they all line up. So lift it off straight, set it right beside it. I'll show you a nice little trick for when you're installing a water pump. Just a little bit of black. Uh, RTV silicone, Just put a little bit on your finger like that, and just kind of smearing around the edge of the water pump. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, um, because really all we're using it for is to hold the gasket. just to hold the gasket, not to actually seal it. It will obviously help do that too, but uh, like I said, not 100% important. Okay. Now stick 
the gasket on. Now, when we turn it like this to put it on, the gasket stays put. Wipe some antifreeze off the surface. Now, find your top. And the top is generally where this little arrow is right here. Now just to mind you, this is a very easy water pump to do, to change by yourself. Uh, a lot of other cars are quite complicated. Some of them take eight hours, if not more. This one shouldn't take you more than an hour if you're doing it by yourself and you do it properly. Or if you're not making a video about it to put on YouTube. <laughs> so then we'll just start all the eight millimeter bolts all the way around. And never put these back in with an air ratchet like I used to take them out. Put these back in by hand. And if you're a really anal person, you may want to find out what the torque spec is. It is very much, it's just basically snug. Done. Next, grab your pulley and see how it's leaking. Just kind of scrape all the crap out of it. And simply set this on top. Just like that. And start putting your bolts back in. Done. So now you would put your belt back on, fill up the coolant, 